Good morning, World Wide Web. Another update video on AMC Entertainment Holdings. Uh, this is James, your favorite ticker picker. The ticker is AMC. Uh, just did a big dilution clacking together of the APE and AMC shares. This thing fell into the $7 range, puckered back up to the $10 range. Now it's chilling in the 936 range. Uh, we're not ready to guess on future revenue uh, for this quarter. Um, actually, we will do a video on the revenue, but it's not going to tell us anything about the earnings. We need to know how much money they raised and how much they paid off of their debt, whether or not they got rid of their bonds, uh, stuff like that. Uh, there's still a few more things. Until then, you're just guessing. Um, and I don't know where this thing goes. I don't think the earnings per share is going to be that pretty. But let's take a look and just get a quick peek at what we think. So we go down, uh, that was their first profitable quarter in forever that they just had. And then they paid off some debt, but I don't think they're going to get another Barbie. Well, actually, Barbie came out the following quarter. They may never get another quarter like that for quite a while. Who knows? The uh, actors are, are on break. Uh, revenue 1.35 billion for the quarter. Absolutely awesome. Way upside down still uh, as of June of 2023. They just got a bunch of more money. They've got $435 million in cash. That does not show an injection of cash, but this is based on June of 2023. Doesn't seem to have been updated. Um, shares outstanding 158 million shares which would be indicative of, uh, yeah, no, no, um, well, if they went from 1.5 billion straight down to 158 million, now it's starting to reflect something that, that could offer a very strong earnings per share. I expected this number to be much higher. This share is outstanding, 158 million. Um, I don't know, so how do they get their money to, uh, to pay off the debt now? If you didn't issue that many shares, they were supposed to issue a, a whole bunch more shares while they clacked them together. Um, I don't know. I think maybe this is based on that date or they also started selling shares. They announced in the news. Let's see what news we can find here. We'll try to catch up. It's just so much going on. AMC stock out like don't be fooled by the latest gimmicks. Yeah, let's see what this says. That might be interesting. Um, do, do, do. Investor place. Oh, like, don't be fooled by the gimmicks. AMC will exclusively distribute a movie based on Beyonce's concert. Great. A big bank analyst firm reiterated a sell rating on AMC stock shares. Investors could continue to avoid AMC shop stock. That's just some advice. I must give credit where credit is due. AMC is getting creative with its efforts to generate revenue. Yet, um, here comes the commercials. Yeah, I don't let us read this one anyhow. Anyhow, it looks like a pay to, pay -to play negative ad. Uh, it's down 90% in a year. Yeah, if you bought this uh, put option before this thing inevitably diluted and crashed, and this doesn't show it all, um, Adam Aaron was blackmailed. The CEO is saying, um, looking to settle shareholder complaints. They're in the red if they invested five years ago. Yeah, they are. Um, yeah, the numbers just haven't caught up with themselves. The releases haven't been transparent enough. Uh, they did uh, sell off a bunch of shares. I'm guessing at the... Uh, you know, the 10 or $15 range, probably. I don't know how many they sold, hopefully enough to pay off uh, some of their debt. It just depends on how much of the debt. If they're still rolling a billion dollars at 16%, they still need to come up with 1.2 you know, billion every quarter to break even. They're still in trouble. They got the Screen Actors Guild coming uh, on strike. Still, the writers are back, but they're probably paying them more, uh, which means... Uh, I don't know, maybe movie tickets will go up, or who knows. Um, the prices will probably go up on them. But, yeah, I just uh, stay away from this one. The lesson to be learned, though, is, my goodness, uh, we talked about it on this channel for months. Um, 
something you know darn well they're out of money and they're going to need more money and there is no way other to get money than to dilute yourself, they're going to dilute themselves. It's a story that has to be told. It can't be said enough. Um, the company has absolutely no credit because they're massively upside down. This old chart will show you that. Massively upside down. No bank will touch them. They're running out of money. They're losing hundreds of million dollars a quarter. They only have a couple of hundred million dollars left. You got to dilute yourself. You got to do something to raise some money. You got to issue another share, clock them together. You got to issue more shares, period. Um, in this case, they turned, uh, uh, um, they multiplied the dilution by three. It was 500 million shares. They took it up to 1.5 billion shares. I think they took it up to 500 million shares, but the numbers are still not reflecting that. Somehow AMC did acquire a pile of shares to sell into the market, and that wouldn't reflect it necessarily, I wouldn't think. Um, yeah, so anyway, $9.36. Uh, Google is still slow on this one. We could deep dive the news, but I think the uh, what we learned here was the strategy and the strategy is uh, when we come across a company that inevitably uh, needs money desperately and has no credit, is about to have to close the doors. Yeah, it's just a, it's a dilution. It's a free put option score every single time. Uh, my 25 cent option on this one turned in to be worth $7.27. Uh, for every $25 I invested on a put option, um, this thing turned into $727. That's the kind of money you make on options when you choose a put option on a company that's getting ready to, you know, triple dilute itself. Good Lord. Um, so, yeah, and, and I guess followed by a juicy crash after that. So there's a lesson to be learned. So when we find these companies, um, I got enough faith to play them now. Um, I, I used to think that you know that was too priced in and stuff like no it wasn't priced in at all they seem like expensive options those put options i was like oh that's kind of expensive and is it really going to far that fall that far yeah it sure did uh it went a lot farther than far uh could have made an absolute fortune just with a few put options you know that was the correct answer on this play uh, amongst all the other correct answers but uh, AMC Entertainment, um, yeah, we got our fake news along the way. We had all, all kinds of drama. Everybody thought the um, you know judge delayed his ruling. The stock doubled immediately. Just ridiculous. Um, I even got sucked into that. Just ridiculous. And the uh, the blind faith in this company and the short squeeze and where it's going and boy, those shorts made a fortune. Wow, they made a killing off of this. They made more on this than they did the whole crash in itself up until now. Uh, but AMC, everybody, it's the lesson learned. Let's apply it to other companies. Um, and let's apply uh, that kind of knowledge to uh, a, a high point in the Dow just to make sure we get the right value on this thing. Um, if you feel that uh, the Dow is going to be going down over the next few months as we enter a little pseudo recession, who knows how it goes. Um, but everyone's kind of um, expecting down right now. We're at a kind of a middle high point. It might be a good good time to be doing put options on stocks that are inevitably in big trouble, long term ones. Um, and then hopefully just playing it for the short term. Hopefully just watching them uh, do what they have to do, which is dilute. It's a natural. It's a force of nature. It's reality. Uh, stay with it, everybody. AMC Entertainment. And lessons to be learned. Apply it to everything else. I'm going to do that on this channel from now on. We're going to evaluate companies. We're going to put them in one watch list or another. It's going to be the bear watch list or the bull watch list. And the bulls are going to be the ones I expect to go up in the future. And the bears are going to be the ones that it, all the evidence points to it going down in the future. And then we're going to have a super implosion category two of ones that are just about on the cusp of busting at the seams, uh, dilution any day now kind of material. So we're going to find something to do with everything. Uh, we're going to try to find the right op option to do with everything. 
We're going to track the purchases and the results. Uh, we're going to see how it works. Um, a new strategy and everything will also go in sync with the Dow. Uh, we're only going to be buying at high points in the Dow. I want crappy stocks in a crashing Dow. I want good stocks in a bullish Dow. So if the Dow gets down really low and we feel like there's good news coming out, we're, we're going to dive into some of those bull options. If not, we'll be on the put options. But uh, we're going to find something to do with everything. And we're going to try to call them the right way. And the way uh, the news is, is you read the news. And everybody's reading the news. We're all reading the same news. We're all feeling the same way about every company. To some degree, some of us see more in it, some of us see less. But um, positive growth and positive news and positive earnings and positive cash, and those are all positives. Those are things that people get people jazzed up. Uh, a bunch of negative shit, and you got a bunch of people bummed. So we're just going to play with that emotion. We're also going to avoid rulings. We're going to avoid earnings dates. We're just going to play hype and momentum. And we're going to do uh, moving with the Dow hype and momentum on uh, whatever we want to. We're going to do it with options. And I, I started doing this a couple of weeks ago, and it seems to be going wonderfully. Like, wow, everything just seems to go in the right direction every morning. It's just wonderful. But uh, we'll see if we can continue. Uh, AMC, I am not going to put in a bull or a bear category right now. I have no freaking idea, and neither do you. So stay the heck away from this one. Have a great day. Uh, enjoy the new channel, and we'll see you on the next one. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss any of my updates. I'll help you join a stock in the right direction at the right time. Thank you, and have a great day.